Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back to play Final Fantasy Tactics Advance on the Game Boy Advance. Last time, we took on a couple uh, story missions, actually one story mission, and then we did a few dispatches, and that was pretty much it. Today, we got a mission over here in the Eluja Sands, a mission over here in Sprome, and that should finish up our dispatch mission too. Uh, let's see, before we get too far though, the pub... Let's see if there's any missions here. Oh, there is a new one. Okay, Earthy Colors. Let's see. I restore artwork for a living, but I'm out of paint, so I need some rock from the mountains. Only the hardy need apply. Five-day dispatch. Okay, let's give that a shot then. Let's go ahead and see if... Uh... Leading block, you'd finish up your rush attack, or your rush ability. But you only need 10 points. Screw it. I'll give it to you. Why not? Uh, yeah, let's give that to him. There we go. Desert Pearl. We'll worry about you later. Now, I don't think these right here have an expiration date. Okay, cool. Let's see. Our current lot is Forbid Fight. But Color Magic is recommended. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and change that up there. Giza Plains is under attack, which means I think that they're going to try to get their territory back or whatever. Hit three. Let's go ahead and try to head back to a Giza Plains here. Alright, got a Sleet Rod and Ancient Text. Very nice. I think Ancient Text is one of the ones that we needed for another dispatch. Eh, Schneider, no thanks. Alright, you said you're under attack, right? 37 days. The sky to the east of the plains is a weird color. Gramps is a plague of in insects are coming. Stop them before they get here. Win the battle. I don't think that's actually part of, like, our missions, is it? No, it's not. Okay. Okay, so that actually does have a time limit, even though it's not very far, uh, much, much of a time limit. We might as well get this out of the way real fast. Um, that should be either dip or some other chump right there, right? Cyro Band, later took care of you. And you, antlions, okay. These are, well, just gonna be antlions. Alright, cool. But let's go ahead and see what we got here. If it's just generic enemies like goblins or something, I might just do it off screen. Oh, it's antlions? Um, yeah, we're gonna fight. We're gonna find plenty of these guys, so I might as well just do this off screen. And actually, you know what? Nah, because it's not even. It's only four of them. I think we should be good. What are you doing there? Sheep count, hundred percent wool, tail wag, for the charm effect. Chocobo rush. This one right here. What that one does is he'll use it, and then it'll do damage in a line, like that. So, I don't know why, but it does. So, there we go. Um, okay, screw it. We'll do it. Why not? Uh, let's see. Our forbidden is fire. Recommended is ice. Marsh, you go ahead and get ready to take out that guy. Mont Blanc, should we bother with you? No. Leaden Block, you go ahead over here. You are there. And... Tennessee. There we go. Later on, though, I definitely will start uh, cutting out some of the battles if they're just uh, generics that we've already seen. Like, if it's just, like, a battle against, like, more antlions, yeah, we'll probably just get rid of it. But for now, we haven't seen too many antlions. We've seen a couple of them, but eh, might as well do a couple of them right now. Alright, now did you get disabled there? You did, perfect. That makes my life easy. You get ready for that chump. This guy, I don't think he's going to be able to make it too far to me. Yeah, okay, we're good. And you, let's go ahead with a... T 
attack on that fella. Fantastic. And I think these guys, maybe not weak to ice, but definitely take a fair amount of damage from ice. A uh, level 3 defense list, I think that is considered a blue magic. Um, again, I'm not going to be using too much blue magic, so I'll just have to live without it. But obviously it does what it says. If the target is a level multiple of 3, then it reduces their defense. Oh, I thought you were going to use your uh, little chocobo rush. I guess not. Okay, so ice... And that should do, yeah, pretty good damage to both of you. Very nice. Unfortunately, we couldn't take the sprinkler and stuff on this mission since it's not an actual, like, uh, what is it? Uh, mission to get at the pub, so we can't enhance our ice abilities, but oh well. I'll just have to deal with slightly weaker, but not really much weaker blizzard spell here. Oh, good, and you're turned around. Nice. Uh, let's go ahead and get over here. And go for a rush. Very nice. And leveling up as a gladiator is always good, simply for the fact that, well, they have excellent stat growth. Now, if I can disable you, that would be perfect. Beautiful. All right, disabled, perfect, I love it. Now you are effectively neutered. And that makes everything much happier here. Okay, let's go ahead and, actually you can still go ahead and cover this guy, right? There we go. And then we should be able to move the mage around, and he'll still be able to double target the uh, red ant lion and the blue ant lion, which would be nice. You. Let's just get behind this jump just for shits and giggles. Ah, dang it. I was hoping he wouldn't move over there to attack him. Oh well. Judge, move out of the way. Thank you. Yeah, every once in a while the judge is uh, right in the middle of the action. And he's kind of blocking it, but at the same time, not really. Uh, let's go ahead with a... See, how much HP you got? 21, and you've got... 41. That's not going to kill you. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Take care of this chump. And then everyone else can gang up on the uh, red ant lion and the boogle here. Perfect. Fantastic. And if I can, I might be able to disable the red ant lion, but then again, we might just be able to clobber him with a good attack here. Let's see, 40 damage. I think the rush attack usually does roughly the same as a physical attack. Yeah. With any luck, I get lucky with that extra one damage. No? Oh well. You go ahead and... Give this guy something to think about. The sooner we get counter though, the better. Unfortunately, eh, we haven't found any equipment with it yet. Oh well. Now, if you move closer to your little buddy... Okay, perfect. I can go ahead and double target there. Or actually, you know what? I don't even need to. I can just go ahead and... Yeah, finish you off right there. Okay, that works. I was going to say I could just double target with him with another blizzard attack, but... He's weak enough to just polish off. And I think the red ant lion's got, what, 2 HP left? Let's have our black mage actually deal the finishing blow. Which is not a very common occurrence, but, well, it's got to happen every once in a while. I mean, fin finishing physical blow, I'm sorry. 
And that gets rid of the uh, other dispatch mission that our other party member was on. Very nice. And let's see what we get out of this. Hopefully something nice. That'd be perfect. Oh, just a whole bunch of ability points. Nice. Thundara is learned. Watching you, 70 points. Okay, perfect. Ah, let's go ahead and... How close are you to actually learning your ability there, sir? Oh, that's right. Burial costs a fair amount. Okay, never mind. Uh, you, you're still chumpy. You've got a little while. You are learned. Ah, oh, I forgot he had his dispatch before that. So he could have been working on a... Uh, Another ability there. Oh well. Let's see. Blitz for guaranteed light damage or beat down for possible extra damage. I'm gonna go ahead with that simply for the fact that we're gonna be putting people to sleep a lot and that'll be pretty nice. Okay, Wizard Hat doesn't actually teach anything. I thought it did. Oh well. Okay, Thunder. You have learned that, so we're gonna go ahead with Sleet Rod. I just wanna make sure you actually learn Thundara. Perfect. Looking good, looking good. Uh, you, you're still on that. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Continue back to where we were. Alright, hopefully... You're gonna try to... Clobber me there, aren't you? Goodbye. Right, we are in Mad Moon, so let's make sure there's nothing new at the pub here. Nope. Okay. Good there. Ah, there we go. That's what I want to see. Swords and Cyro, you want a fencer still, don't you? Yeah. We get a random item there, which is nice. Um, one battle. Okay, let's hang on to that. Girl in Love. Two battles. White Thread. We don't have that again still. Newbie Hall. Needed. Part-time teachers. Help apprentices in a wide variety of jobs or in the tricks of your trade. We get an onion sword and a cookery. Okay, cool. Combat level 5, which I don't think we have yet. Okay. We'll have to worry about that later then. Okay, so staring eyes. I found out who's got the arm in eye and he's a real bad egg. Seems he's making the arm and chase after girls in the side world. Vesper, an ancient sword. Uh, okay, we got the arm and eye for the mission here. Perfect. Let's just go ahead and take it. Sure, why not? Available for a while. And then... I don't know if our Moogle is out. Or not our Moogle. Our Viera is going to be a fencer too often here. I mean, we can go ahead and... Make her a fencer for a little while here. And then give her some ability points. But... I'm not really sure it's going to help out too much in the long run. Okay, I guess we might as well work on a Shadow Stick. I mean, uh, I think Shadow Stick is the same thing as Blitz, where it does uh, guaranteed light damage. Oh, okay. Or I could be entirely wrong. Okay, that works. And actually, while you're here, you might as well put on that. And then, I don't think there's anything else that you really care about, is there? No? Okay. So we're going to go ahead and send you off. You're the only one that can go. Actually, were you even jumping? You probably were. Okay, good. She's going to be gone for one battle. Okay, take that. And then we'll go ahead and take the um, mission right here. Staring eyes, which will be against the uh, float eyes, or I do believe, or arm ends, or whatever you want to call them. Ooh, and there's a Beastmaster controlling them. Then again, they're going to act on their own anyway, so he's probably just going to act as a physical... He's probably just going to act as a physical attacker. Okay, let's see what we got here. We got Armin number one. You've got or Float Eye, whatever. 
We've got counter, stare, confusion. So that'll be a pain in the ass with the confused status. You circle, lowers weapon attack and magical power. That's not going to be fun. That's going to hinder us there. You, you should just have like what abilities to control the armaments and stuff. Oh, you got cure. Okay, so that'll be a bit of a pain in the ass. You, let's see, stare for confusion and darkness. Okay, so these guys are going to have lots of fun with various status ailments. Alright. Let's go ahead and put you over here. Mom Blood will hang on about to you later. You go ahead over here. You. Hey, you have. No, I think I'd rather have Mom Blanc in this fight. Screw it. Extra. Elemental damage should be good. And we're good to go. Alright, let's do it. I've been watching you. You dare interfere with my plans? Uh, yeah. So you're the criminal. You won't get away now. Defeat all enemies. I was hoping it might just be defeat the boss, but then again, I was going to defeat them all anyway, so whatever. Let's go ahead with a nice clubber here. We could reduce your speed just for the fact that it'll make you go slower, so might as well. You, let's go ahead and... I want to see if I can't disable one of these guys. It's not going to be guaranteed, but it'd be reasonably nice. Alright, 73% chance. Perfect. Alright, you're taken care of. And yeah, our men's are flying enemies, so they don't have to worry about uh, a jump height or anything like that. They do still have to worry about accuracy, though, so that's fine. Oh, and you can still knock uh, flying enemies off of, what is it, um, ledges and stuff, and they will take damage from that. Beautiful. Go ahead and move you that way. That way you don't uh, get screwed over by a back attack there. I don't know why you're trying to clobber me with the back attack there. You're disabled and you can't do anything. Sorry. Let's go ahead and see how well our physical attack does. Yeah, close enough, actually. Not quite enough to kill, but ah, oh, one away, you bastard. And let's see, let's go ahead with a. This is gonna hurt my soldier, but you know what? We'll live. It's a higher chance to hit the soldier than anyone else, though. Um, let's see how. Much damage. This guy's probably gonna get his turn, so that's probably not for the best. You know, I'm just gonna wait then, screw it. I was gonna go ahead and. Actually, you know what? No. I do wanna try to take out the disabled one. And actually, you know what? Mud Block will be able to help out there too. Forty-five percent chance. Ah, and it's gonna hit the frickin' juggler, which I wasn't even paying attention to. Son of a bastard. Okay, well, I missed them both anyways. Whatever. I will just have to suffer, I suppose. Um, for the moment, you're just gonna have to wait here, Monty. Alright, if we just move our juggler and. Actually, juggler or soldier out of the way, we'll be able to uh, double team those guys right there. 
So let's go ahead with... Kill this guy, not have to worry about the double team. Okay, perfect. And I'm just going to leave you facing this fella right here. That way everyone else has movement. Forty-five percent chance. Yeah, sometimes it works. We'll give it a shot. Nice. Did it work? It damaged him. I don't think it actually disabled him. Oh well. Oh, I didn't even see you behind that palm tree. I thought you were dead. Oops. Damn terrain working against me. And this is gonna hurt. Son of a bitch. Oh well. We'll just have to live, I suppose. Uh, you. Can you clobber this guy with his whole 1 HP he's got left? Yeah, okay. Alright, let's start working on getting over to this chump right here. It's a shame we didn't manage to disable him with that dagger attack. I mean, we got pretty lucky with the hit rate, just, uh, well, not so lucky with the secondary chance rate. Yeah, Beastmasters, uh, they have a reasonably high, or very high physical attack for Numu. I think the only other Numu class that has a higher physical attack is the Morpher, and I'm not sure if that's actually higher. Let me see real fast, actually. No, the Beastmaster does have the highest uh, physical attack, and then the next highest is actually the Sage. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. Morphers do have the highest speed, but again, it's not something I'm going to be too terribly concerned with. Ooh, this is actually going to be... Good against that guy right there. And actually, uh... You got plenty of HP, Tennessee. So, this might actually work out. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Mont Blanc, you go ahead and use those items you got. Revive my warrior here. There we go. That's better. You go for a clobber here. Nice. And let's move you out of the way. That way you're not uh, in the line of fire again, Mr. Glass Cannon. You go ahead with a hit on him. Not quite enough to polish him off, but get him in pretty good range at least and you if we can let's go for our new Blizzara spell our juggler is going to take a little bit of damage here but he's got the HP to soak it up so I'm not really too concerned Well, good job on missing the blue guy, but at least you managed to hit one of the en enemies. Sometimes you'll get really lucky, and you'll miss all the enemies and only hit yourself. You better be careful. I'll always be watching. Well, maybe you should have watched your back a little better this time there, sir. Oh, you still got full HP. I thought you were uh, significantly lower than that. But All right, let's disable you, and then go from there. Or not. He's gonna go ahead and counter me, isn't he? Oh well, we'll just have to deal with it. You just go ahead and heal yourself up, because I'm pretty sure the Otter Man's probably just gonna end up, uh, flying up here and trying to attack you. Let's 
simply for the fact that your HP is low. Alright, and there we go. Assuming this hits, we are done. Very nice. That worked out. And then our Viera should be back from her dispatch mission as well. Okay, cool. Oh, I didn't read what that said, but uh, something about... I think we were going to watch them too. Yeah, oh well. Ah, oh, we didn't learn any abilities. For shame. And I don't think you learned any abilities either, did you? No? Okay. So, for getting, um, well, whatever that handshake one is up to three, I think we got the ten high potions there, so, very nice. Let's go ahead and switch you back over. Let's see how much you're doing. Your shield bear is almost done, actually, but I still want you as a elementalist here. go and I don't think it really matters here I think the wizard hat might raise magic power 145 165 okay that has reasonably decent uh, stats so we might as well use it and then let's see what we got here survival vest okay that works for you and then let's check out some of those new weapons we got real fast some of them are pretty good, actually. Uh, not you. You, not you. You. Okay, there we go. Let's see, we got the Victor Sword. Doesn't teach anything, but I think it does have pretty good uh, physical stats. 160, 119. Okay, slightly better, but eh. I was hoping it would be a little better than that. Uh, what are you working on? You're working on Speed Break, right? Okay, there we go. And I forget if we already had the Buster Sword. Yeah, I think we did because I bought it for the war, uh, the Worm Tamer ability, I think. Let's see anything else here? Sunblade? No, we already had that. I thought we got some other new stuff there. I thought you were learning the. Oh, you already. You probably already learned the uh, render. Never mind. All right. Let me see if I can't find those uh, weapons we got. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and sort everything. Let's see. Samson sword was that one of the new ones? Possibly, I think it was. Uh. The Vesper, that was new. That is a spear, right? Oh, mace. Okay. It looks like a spear from the the uh, description there, but I guess I was wrong. And maces are for sage class. And alchemist class. Okay, there we go. I knew it was sages. I just forgot alchemists could use them too. Um, anything else here? No? Okay. Before I get too far, let me see something real fast. You need one more battle, pretty much. And let's make sure abilities are set here. Everything should be good. And then we'll go ahead and go after another mission here. Okay, so let's go ahead and... I don't think there's anything new in this, this pub here. No? Okay, fantastic. We don't have any of those. Okay, so let's go ahead and free sprung. If we go there now, lightning will be forbidden, wind will be recommended. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and not do that. Let's go ahead and go over here. By the way, as you clear various uh, story missions, uh, new laws will be added. And eventually it'll make it to the point where we'll have multiple laws to worry about. But that shouldn't be a problem right now. Who are you? Oh, sorry, old band. I'm not worried about you. Let's go ahead and freeze bro. Very nice. Our elementalist won't be able to do any physical attacks, but I think she'll be okay with that. Ah, 
Alright, and let's check out what we got here. We got a thief, who I already don't like. Steel helm. Steel gill, steel experience, steel judge points. Okay, I don't think we have too much in the way of uh, hats to worry about, really, but uh, still, that's mildly irritating to have to watch out for. You're just going to be typical healer bot, I think. Cure as soon as shall protect. Okay, good. You, probably just uh, straight up physical stuff. Okay, yeah, there we go. You're going to try to reduce our stats, but we're going to try to not let that happen. That'd be great. Oh, it's just you three? Oh, I thought it was going to be uh, a few more. Okay, that'll actually be pretty easy then. Uh, the terrain is kind of a pain in the ass, though, so... Oh, well. Uh, Marsh, you can actually start a little lower, simply for the fact that you're going to be able to shoot over some of these obstacles here. Mont Blanc, you're going to sit it out. Darius... Uh, I'm not sure how useful you're going to be in here, but... Uh, well, at the very least, I want the AP. Liedenbach, let's put you over there. The mages, you're just going to hang out down here. Yeah, that's probably be a pain in the ass just to actually get to the people there, but oh well. Who do you think you are? Get him! Clan Borzai, we're taking you down. Well, we're certainly not taking him out, that's for sure. Well, out to dinner, I mean. I guess we technically are taking him out, but anyways, enough uh, chitter chatter. Yeah, you can't move anywhere. That's not fun. Okay, so you're just gonna have to wait. You. Let's go ahead and get you over here. And let's just go ahead and get a first aid here. I'm going to try not to get too many levels as a soldier, maybe just like one or two. But at the same time, first aid's still pretty good just for getting experience anyways and getting you close to a level. And then you switch over to another job and get the last bit of experience points there. And then you don't have to wait quite as long. This is going to hurt. Actually, this will actually be pretty decent to uh, use the rush ability on, because we'll be able to knock people off the cliffs and do damage to them, so that'll be nice. And you missed stealing my experience, sucker. I think for this battle, the white mage here will probably be the one to watch out for the most, simply for the fact that he has uh, the ability to remove debuffs and whatnot. Dagger? No, that's not going to work. Uh, call, sheep count... That's probably not going to hit, but you know what? I'll give it a shot. Okay, I tried. Let's see, you go ahead and... You start going this way. You... You can go ahead and eventually... Attack someone here. Oh, uh, you're a little too far away. Let's go over here then. Sixteen. You know what? Screw it. Let's just go ahead and put you back over here, and we're just gonna boost you for the moment. Yeah, and. You're not going to be able to do a whole lot right away. And I don't, yeah, I don't have uh, any good white magic beside Cure at the moment. I'm going to have to work on that. Every once in a while, the judge being like right in the middle of battle and being irritating will actually be to your benefit because that means until he moves, the enemy's not going to be able to like get in position for like a back attack or something like that. It's not going to happen very often, but it does happen every once in a while. Alright, please miss the counter. That'd be great. Dang it. Your counter attack really hurt. And you're going to walk whack me upside the head with your staff. Ow. Now you're probably going to die then, aren't you? Yeah, oh well. Yeah, you're dead. I wish you would stop dying. Whew! Thank you. You you heard my wish. I'm so happy. 
Uh, unfortunately, there's no one to knock off right now, so we're just going to have to settle for just straight damage. Beat down. Let's see if we can't get that to hit. 37% uh, chance. Look at that damage, though. Nice. Uh, it's not going to hit right now, so I'm just going to go ahead with a regular physical attack. But if you get him, if you get him put to sleep, and then you use that, that'll be so nice. Simply for the fact that it'll do a ton of damage. All right, you. Let's go ahead and try to disable that thief there. All right, only seventy percent chance to hit, but hopefully it's in our favor. Nah, it's not. You, let's go ahead over here. And you should be able to heal Buddy Boy over there, right? No? Not quite. Okay. We can hear we can heal that guy though, because he's not actually taking any damage yet, so. I don't mind that. You, let's go ahead and ooh, that'll do plenty of damage right there to Mr. Warrior since he is turned around. Forty-three, not quite enough to kill. Actually, let me make sure my other spells aren't going to do more damage. Sometimes, uh, due to the equipment they have on, uh, they'll take extra damage from elemental spells and whatnot. But usually, it's not anything really too worrisome. At least not in the early game like this. And you're just about taken care of. Uh, if I don't move, that's just gonna put my arrow in the wall, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Actually, you know what? Help. I thought I was hoping I could move further, but oh well. I was hoping I could actually move higher and possibly get the uh, white mage or whatnot, but no, no such luck. You, um, the white mage could stand to get uh, beat upside the head a few times here. That'd be perfect. I was gonna say owl, but eh, not really. And you, you might get lucky with your actual physical attack here, so hopefully not. That'd be great. But you did. Okay. Now you... Ah. You're still not going to take fall damage because it's not uh, very much of a fall. But let's go ahead and showcase our knocking the chump off the ledge here. Nice. I'll take it. You can we heal him? Yes, we can. Okay, perfect. We could have fire whipped the uh, priest and or white maid, whatever, and take care of him for good. But eh, I don't want to take any chances on the warrior over there dying. And yeah, we can just do that. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead with. Okay, this actually works out pretty good. Let's go ahead and... Go for a sheep count here. Actually, you know what? Now nah, let's go for a sheep count. Hopefully it hits the thief, that'd be nice. And then we can go ahead and try out our beatdown attack on him, because that'll do plenty of damage. Perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and move you over there. Our juggler is going to take a little bit of damage here, but he's going to have to deal with it. I don't want to wake up the thief before I can get my uh, beat down on it. That's why I don't, that's why I'm not actually 
targeting him at the moment. You... Let's go ahead over here. And you just go for another boost. Why not? You... Can I steal anything from you? No, I don't have steel on. Okay. Uh, speed break should not wake him up. Nice. And then I will move you... Out of the way. 